Today I'm going to show you how to pick the best wakeboard for you. The first thing you want to figure out is how big your board should be. A good rule of thumb is place the board next to you and the nose of the board should reach at least shoulder level. If you're riding at a wake park, it's not uncommon for the wakeboard nose to be much taller. Larger wakeboards create less drag and the impact on landings disperses over a larger area making softer landings. But I should note that choosing a bigger board may make certain tricks a little bit more difficult, such as spinning off of a rail. Try out a bunch of different sizes, but when in doubt, it's better to go too big than too small. And I'm going to talk about my personal favorite, the O'Brien DZ. <laughs> The DZ is a cable specific board that comes in a 148 and a 152. Now I know a lot of the people watching right now are smaller than me or they ride boat. And for that, I'd recommend the SOB. The SOB comes in at a 140 and a 144. And it's the exact board that this board was based off of. And something else really cool about the SOB is that it's a hybrid wakeboard, which means that it's great for the boat or the cable. And you may be thinking, John, I need something way smaller than that. And for that, I'd recommend the Valhalla. The Valhalla ranges anywhere from 133 to 143, and it's my next favorite boat board. And finally, for the really small riders, I recommend the Hookie. The Hookie ranges anywhere from 110 to 128, and it's great for young riders. I mean, just check out my nephew shredding on it. And that's gonna do it for this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, and be sure to check out the merch store. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. The Valhalla ranges anywhere from 133. The Valhalla ranges anywhere from 133 to 143. Again. One other really cool thing about the SOB is that there's a train there. One other really cool thing about the SOB is that it's a hybrid wakeboard. Gosh darn a train! Any minute now. I did not train for this.